everybody. How's everybody doing today? It's Miss Sharon with Storytime. I have my special friend here with me today, Miss Riley. Can you say hi to everybody? They can't see your hand down there. You got to put it. There you go. Um, hope everyone's doing well and enjoying the summer weather. It's not too bad out there. Um, and I hope that you're taking va advantage of our parks that are now open. And we have also started some uh, programs. So you can check out uh, the website or you can go on Facebook and it'll give you a list of little programs that we're offering right now. Uh, we still have um, rules, social distancing and mask wearing that we have to abide by. However, we have figured out some programs that we can have um, and still stay, say, stay safe. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Um, so let's get to our story. But first, we're going to tell everyone what we need today. All right, I have some finger paint paper. This white paper here is finger paint paper. It's special paper. I have some blue finger paint. Do you think we're going to finger paint today? Yeah. I have some glue, a pair of scissors, and one googly eye. Okay, you wait till you see what we're gonna do with it. So Riley's been waiting very patiently to finger paint. So let's get to our story first, okay? What's our story about today? A dolphin. A dolphin. Where do dolphins live? Do you know? Do they live in a house? No, where do they live? They live in the ocean, right? Or the sea, all right? And this is called Dolphin's Big leap. A leap is kind of a jump. So dolphins like to jump out of the water. So we'll see if he likes to. And this is by Kimberly Weinberger and illustrated by Deborah Ziss. Dolphin's big leap. I think he's going to jump out of the, jump out of the water. Hmm? Look at his tongue sticking out. Little dolphin swims in the sea. The sea is another name for the ocean. He is a part of a family. Look, there's his family. That may be his mom and dad. Where's his mom? I think here. I think that's his mom. And there he is. Looks like his mom and dad are gray and he's blue. The gray, the mom and the dad. All of the dolphins spin and slide. They dive, they play, they race, and they glide. Look at them all. I think a dolphin family is called a pod. I'm not sure. It's either dolphins or whales. But one thing gives little dolphin a scare. He cannot, he will not, jump in the air. He doesn't like to jump. Look at his face. He looks so worried. Why? I don't know. Maybe he's, it said he's scared. Of what? Maybe he doesn't want to get hurt. Where? In the water. Each day, little dolphin says, I can do it. I can do it. And each day he says, there's nothing to it. He's trying to talk himself into it. But then he can't. His fins won't go. The air is too cold and the waves are too slow. See, he's still in the water. Why? He won't jump out. He's afraid, I think. Why are you afraid to jump out? I don't know. Let's find out. So one day, little dolphin leaves home. He swims through the blue water. He swims through the white foam. I wonder where he's going. He can swim really good. <gasps> he swims until he sees a boat. And he sees a child in a bright red coat. Hmm. Yeah, she's wearing a red coat on the boat. Coat and boat. Little dolphin wants to play. He forgets to be scared. Could this be the day? Oh boy, maybe he's going to jump out of the water for the little girl. Looks like a fisherman. He nears the boat. 
He is fast. He is sleek. He smiles with a mouth that is shaped like a beak. Dolphin's uh, nose and mouth look like a beak. Look. Right here. Then he does it. He leaps. He flies. He makes a rainbow arc in the sky. Look. Did he jump out? Is he afraid anymore? Nope. Look at that. Little dolphin whistles and clicks. The small child claps at her dolphin friend's tricks. So I think he was doing that for the little girl to see him, right? Now she's clapping for him. How's he look? The dolphin. He looks happy because he jumped out of the water. Why is he not? He's not afraid anymore. Why not afraid anymore? Because he did it and he likes it. Little dolphin waves at the child in the coat. He waves as he swims away from the boat. Why he swims away from well, the boat? Well, he's got to go back home, right? Why? Well, his mom and dad are missing him. He swims to his family in water so deep. He swims home to tell of his great big leap. So he was going home to tell his family that he learned how to jump in the air. I think he's very proud of himself. There, look, now he's showing his family how he can jump. How do they look? Good, Good. they look happy too, right? Why? Because they're happy that he's happy that he learned how to jump in the air. Because that's what dolphins do. They like to jump out of the water into the air. And that's our story. So today, we're going to make a dolphin. In the story, this little dolphin was blue. So I'm going to give Riley some blue finger paint. Let's, whoops, sorry, turn around. I'm going to put on here, OK? What color is this again? Blue. What color are we using? Blue. blue, look at that. Now, when you finger paint, do you use your toes? Do you use your, your nose? No. What do you use? Oh, your fingers. All right, go ahead. And I have wipes here, so when you're done, we'll wipe your hands off, okay? Go ahead. Smear it around. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Got to cover up the whole paper. Can you think of other things that are the color blue? What else is blue? Is the sky blue? Yeah. What else is blue? Do you want to use your other hand too, or just one? You can use two hands if you want. Just want to use one? Okay. How does it feel? Is it cold? Is it warm? Yeah. Yeah. Is it smooth or bumpy? Hmm? Is it smooth? Yeah. I don't see any bumps in there. Nice and smooth. Keep going. Got to put some over here on this side. Go ahead. Nice job. Can you make a picture in there? Can you take one finger? There you go. Pretty cool. Do you like to finger paint? Yeah. yeah. This is almost blue like, oh, I know what else is blue. The ocean, the water, right? It's okay. Let's see, what else is blue? One more thing. I would say blueberries, but they're really not blue. They're kind of purple. Oh, now you got two fingers in there. Look at that. Perfect, keep going. So why Riley is finger painting, I have a paper that I did the other day, so it's nice and dry. And here's my finger paint, and I'm going to cut out, I have already traced the shape of a dolphin. So I'm gonna cut him out Why Riley is still finger painting. And then we're gonna put our eye on him. And dolphins have fins like sharks. Where is 
Yep, right on the top here. I'm cutting out his fin. They have one on the top and one on the bottom. And what did the book say that his um, nose and mouth looked like? What did it say it looked like? Like a beak, right? It's kind of pointy. What? Sure. Yep, it's going to dry up. You can take it home to dry. Got to be careful, though, because you don't want to get paint all over. Where? All over the, your car. And we have his tail. There we go. And there he is. Look. <laughs> Does he look like the dolphin? Look, he's swimming, and he's going to jump out of the air back into the water. How about I put an eye on him? I don't know that bottom, that bottom fin. It's a little, little glue. Got some glue. Take some off. Are you done? Do you need a wipe? Yeah. Yeah. And there's his eyeball. Look. How's he look? Good. What do you think dolphins eat? Are you done? Do you want to do some more or are you done? done? You're done? So that was our story about our little dolphin. And if you notice, Miss Sharon is doing a lot of um, stories about water and the beach and the ocean because, like I said, that's my favorite. So um, next week we'll have another story. And I hope everybody has a great week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Don't forget to wear your masks and wash your hands. And you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Can you wave? Say bye-bye.